now that we have created our sales pipeline and we have an opportunity here we created in the last video it's time for us to understand a few features of this section and what are the few things that we can do with it so uh, we just saw in the last video that we can create new opportunities from here manually although we don't have to create manual leads every time like there's a lead in the system like every time you get a lead if you, like unless you want to because leads will be automatically coming in and getting added to this pipeline we're gonna we're gonna uh, implement that automation but just to understand how these uh, how this section works and what are the few things that you can do with it if we look into this card there's a call option there's uh, an SMS or text option if you click on this this will allow you to send an SMS or email to this lead let's go back if you click on the call option it will it will call this lead from the inbound Twilio number of this go high level account and if you click on this card let's see what happens like this is the status okay so this this status indicates what stage the lead is in open means we haven't sold anything at all to this lead yet if we mark this as one that means we have sold what we wanted to sell to this user uh, I mean to this lead lost abandoned you could use them if you you failed to s uh, sell something to this lead or prospect or whatever but for now let's put it open lead value it depends on how much you want to put here like if you are selling a hundred uh, if you are selling this lead a thousand dollar package then you could put thousand this is just for sake of calculating uh, ROI or things like that but you, you can completely keep it blank if you want to so th the next thing is the owners so if you remember we created a team member for this account so he will be able to use this account and if we assign this lead on him he will be able to communicate he will be able to call send SMS emails this lead will in other words be his responsibility so you can assign it it's a very good practice to uh, assign leads that come into the system to somebody to the person who's uh, who's responsible to do the marketing and sales for that company in this case let's assume John Doe is the person who's doing sales and marketing for this company so I'm assigning this lead to him book update or appointment uh, this this will come in handy when we create calendars so I'm kinda uh, ignoring that now tasks we, you can create tasks like uh, if you want to follow up later you can just uh, you can just say that to be uh, let's let's say will followed up later put a description assigned to John Doe obviously because this lead is signed to him you can set a due date for that task notes you can put notes there will be a lot of leads right so it's very natural that you you're gonna forget what was the last conversation although you can just see the, la uh, the the previous conversation from by clicking here it will give you all the previous conversation history including a message and emails you can put notes just to see where the lead like what the status of the lead is just for your own understanding that's it so we're not going to do anything here we're going to can cancel it for now so manually leads can be created from new just like we did this one you can also click on this, this thunder icon you can create an opportunity and you can do the same thing we did for this one and you can also do it from the contact section so if you come into contacts just like we did like we added the leads in opportunity right but they arrived in contacts because they have an email address and a phone number or even one of them so if you want to add this lead to the opportunity you can also do this from here just click on this lead just add to opportunity maybe go back just click on this and pipeline change so just put sales pipeline new lead and stuff like that so if you hit add or update opportunity 
this contact will be showing up here. So these are the few things about opportunities and pipelines. And I've showed you how you can add leads to sales pipeline or which pipeline, whichever pipeline you're going to create manually. And yeah, that's it for this video.